Have you been finding yourself getting frustrated playing Flesh and Blood? Do you find that the game isn't nearly as fun as it used to be? Are you finding that you're having polarizing matchups, or when you play, even when you win, it just doesn't feel as satisfying as it used to? Well, it might be time for you to switch decks. I love Dromai. I love the theme of the deck, I love the art style, and I absolutely love dragons. Illusionist is my favorite class in the game, and I've been playing her ever since she came out. I even took her to two pro quests, which were my first competitive events ever for any game, and top aided with her both times. I spent a ton of money buying out cold foil equipment and the Marvel Dragons, I've made a bunch of videos about her on the channel, and I'm just known as being a Dromai player. But the truth is, I really haven't been enjoying playing her for a while. See, as much as I love the idea of Dromai, when I sit down to play her, I just get frustrated a lot of the times because it feels like she's a very polarizing hero. She either completely crumbles to some decks or completely dominates others. Whenever I go up against Guardian or Brute, even though I know the game is winnable, I just get very frustrated because I know that I'm going to have to sit there slowly but surely having my cards popped again and again and again, trying to build up that ghostly touch and then removing the phantasm from it in the late game in order to kill them and it's just agonizingly slow. On the flip side you sit down against a deck like Fire Briar and they're just gonna run you into the ground before you can do anything. But you go up against decks like Wizards or Ranger and you're going to steamroll them because they don't have that many ways to actually deal with all of your dragons. Now I have played multiple versions of the deck. I've played the full control dragon build, I have played the phantasmal build that I took to the top eights and made a decklist video about, I have played the aggro build, and I've even tried Irish Dromai, which is by far and away my least favorite way to play the deck. And no matter what I did, I was just finding myself enjoying playing the game less and less. I wanted this to be my hero. I wanted it to be my identity as a player. And so I forced myself to keep playing a deck that I wasn't having the most fun with. And I think that is a problem that's pretty unique to Flesh and Blood because when you get attached to a hero, you get really attached to that hero and you almost make it part of your identity. Obviously a lot of pro players are gonna play whatever hero is the best in the format and they're going to be able to mix and match and play a bunch of different things. But for average players like myself, we get attached to our specific deck and we want to make it work regardless of whether it's good or not. But even if you really love a deck and a hero, there's only so many times that you can have frustrating matches before you start to have less and less fun with Flesh and Blood as a game overall. And at the end of the day, Flesh and Blood is a game. You want to have fun when you're playing. You don't want it to be a frustrating experience. You don't want to be sitting there miserable match after match as you're just dealing with the same bullshit over and over again that frustrates you. And so the other night I decided to bring to my armory a deck that I'd played a little bit but hadn't really gotten too much into and that was Viscerai. And I had more fun playing that deck than I have had playing Flesh and Blood in a long while. Instead of playing on the back foot for most of the game, trying to build some sort of board presence in order to slowly pressure my opponents down while having my phantasm cards popped time and time again, I was the aggressor. I was the one who was putting down a bunch of damage on the board. I was the one making these long combat chains. Every hand that I would draw was like a puzzle that I had to figure out and I had to determine the sequencing of the cards, what was the best way to get value out of my hand. And it was just such an experience playing this deck. I ended up actually winning that armory with Viscerai, although I only went two and one, the same with a couple other people. But even the game that I lost felt really, really good because I lost due to my own mistake. It was against the Bravo and there was a turn near the end of the match where he bluffed a pummel. And I, big brained as I am, didn't fall for that bluff. Yeah, it, it wasn't a bluff. <laughs> but the thing I enjoyed about that is that was a moment in the game that I was able to identify where I had made a genuine mistake. And if I hadn't made it, I probably would have won the game. And I don't always get to feel that way with Dromai. For instance, when I'm facing a Fi, I could be playing better than the Fi player, but they're still just going to overrun me because I'm not able to block enough damage and they're able to just kill all of my dragons with ease. And it's very frustrating to play as well as you can and make all the correct decisions and still lose because the decks that you're facing are just putting out so much pressure that you can't stand up to them. Long story short, as much as I love Illusionist and as much as I love Dromai, I just wasn't having fun playing the deck. And playing a different hero that I had an excellent experience with has taught me that despite how much we may love a hero and how much we might make it part of our identity, if you're really not having fun with it, it's worth trying something else. But that doesn't mean you need to drop your favorite hero forever. Hopefully, if you put a hero aside like myself with Dromai, in the future you get some support that pushes that hero up and gives them that few cards they need to make them very, very good and help to even out those bad matchups. And so if you're finding yourself frustrated as I was, 
I highly recommend trying out a couple different heroes, play something that's a little bit more even, that doesn't have a swingy of matches, and you might start enjoying the game a lot more. I don't think it's fully worth getting burned out on the game just because you truly love a hero more than any other. And I do hope that you'll all forgive me for betraying our lovely Dromai. I don't plan on leaving her forever, but for now, I am setting the deck aside as I just haven't been enjoying the experience. And hopefully, in the future, we get some support that makes her a little bit better with a little bit less polarizing matchups, but we'll have to wait and see. If you liked this video and want to help support me, consider either becoming a channel member or checking out my Patreon. There are different levels of bonuses like early access to videos, signed cards, and even custom hero cards. And to those who are already supporting me, you have my deepest and most honest appreciation. It's because of all of you that I can continue to put in the work to bring the best content I possibly can to the chadliest community in the TCG space. Thank you, my friends.